Hello, welcome to the show. I'm Jing Bing here in the capital city of Argentina. This is uh, uh, Buenos Aires. So we are here at the Square of May. And today we're going to have a very special tour in the metro system of the city. And joining me now is Mr. Yang Li Hong from CRC. Good to see you, sir. So we are at the uh, Plaza de Mayo, uh, in English, the Square of May of the city of Buenos Aires. Here is also the starting point of the metro system of the city. And as a Chinese company, CRRC Corporation Limited, we have provided 30, 30 trains of metros to the Line A of the Buenos Aires city. And the train, we have signed the contract in the year 2009 and all the train has mm -hmm. entered in operation uh, from 2013. So far, it has been 10 years in operation and the performance is very stable and we have uh, satisfied the needs of the citizens, can give them a very comfortable and the safeness of the ridership experience. And we have, uh, we have also have a, a post, uh, uh, after sales post here mm. to provide all the necessary services to the city of Buenos Aires. Okay, so uh, this whole area is really, really impressive. And we're gonna head in towards the metro system the terminal, right? Yeah. Uh, it has uh, several axes, is one of them. Mm -hmm. So what, yeah. is, what is the name of this station? Right now we are facing the Boliva, it's uh, station Line E, and we have a... This is the Boliva. And we we will we will going we'll go to enter for the line A to take our train right now. Mm. We'll enter from the station of Peru. And it's about like two minutes of walk from here. Mm. So let's go and find it out. Okay. So let's let's move there. Okay. This way? A, B, C, D, E, H, um, yeah. there are six lines, so each line, the metro cars are running from, um, from China. That's a, that's a Belo station ah, right now. Ah, station. Yeah, right in front of us. Uh, why we choose the Belo system, uh, this station? Uh, the Belo station is uh, because it's a, it's a station of line A, right, and also we have a uh, our, the, the operator as a, like our client waiting for us. Mm. Here we are. He will tell, tell us more about you know the performance of our train, the Chinese train, CRC train. Mm. This we're going down to yes. the station. Yeah, this is a Peru, uh, Peru station. <laughs> Subte Buenos Aires is the name of the system, metro system, okay. Peru. And the final station is San Pedrito. Please, after you. Oh, I have to. Thank you. And while we use the ancient buildings, really yeah. beautiful. It's a whole and lot of history. I heard the, uh, the metro system here has a history of about more than 100 years. Yeah, it's the first metro system in the Latin America and the second metro system in the world, mm. right after the metro of London. Well, also this uh, totally different from my imagination. Yes. It's uh, very traditional. Well, the appearance of this car uh, is very different, but inside I saw it's a bit like um, what we what we using in Beijing. Yeah, it's a uh, it's all designed and fabricated by us in China. So I think you can see, see here. So no, come okay. over here. This is a logo. Ah, okay. It's for the okay, yeah for the uh, CNR. That's uh, the before the merge of the CNR and CSR. Mm. Uh, 2015 we merged into CRC, but before that the CNR is a Changchun Railway Vehicle Corporation. Mm. And this is the logo. It's a logo. Yeah. Okay. And now you can see the in interior of the train. It's very illuminated with LED, and you have the the dynamic map to show you, you know, all the stations, uh, right? It's pretty much like we use in China and yeah, all the gangway, the gangway, you know, it's all connected 
between all the carriages <laughs> and very comfortable with air conditioning. Yeah. So it's a maximum comfort and okay. security <laughs> for the passengers. Uh, I have a question. Uh, do yeah? uh, the locals know um, these uh, metro cars are from China? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Uh, That's fine if we can find someone to uh, okay. it's an interview. Uh, you can use it. Okay. Hola, ¿cómo anda? Muy bien. Eh, te voy a preguntar, ¿sabes que este subte es de China? ¿Es de China? Sí. No, no lo sabía. No, no lo sabía. ¿Es de Custa? Sí, me gusta, muy ¿Eh? lindo. Eh, ¿Qué lindo? Me gusta más que los otros subtes. ¿Sí? Me parece el más moderno este que los otros. Ok, gracias, gracias. Oh, so what, yeah, uh, we, what, what did she uh, say? Uh, she said uh. she didn't know that it's from China, but she was very impressed mm. by the car. That's very, you know, very comfort and it's better than the current car, current mm. metro car they have. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so many people are. Yeah. Getting on board. So which station we're heading to? Now we can see the, the vendors on this at this station. Now we are in Lima, Pedrita. Which station? I'll ask you. They from which station? They've already left the train. Ah,差不多。Carlos Cardeo. Uh, so, uh, uh, so we can we can get on board another another vehicle and uh, let's talk to people. Uh, do you agree? So we, we actually can talk to many people, not only from this place, but also mm -hmm. in other station, right? Okay. We can still sure. get in the board. Yeah. Well, uh, during uh, during your work time, uh, what do you usually use as a traffic uh, vehicle? Uh, actually, for me, I don't. I you know, it's a very ecological. I go by foot. Oh, uh, Humphrey, <laughs> yeah. so it's very close. But in in other times, so what about the metro system? Uh, yeah, I would take the I would take the metro if necessary. If I go to meet some mm. client, if I go, you know, on the weekends, go to some restaurant, I would take the metro system. What's the feeling about yourself? Because uh, these uh, metro cars are provided by your company. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, how is the feeling? Uh, uh, there's so many people are using the metro s cars in the metro system. This feeling is very special. Uh, first place is a very proud sense of proud. You know, it's like you know. Uh, the, our product you know, has a running on the you know the Argentinian territory has serving Argentinian people has provided them with a high confidence and security of the means of transportation and as a part of the company I feel very proud mm. and as a passenger I also enjoy you know our product it's a very it's very comfort and secure. Mm. And, you know, has uh, air conditioning, has a very illuminated. Mm. Yeah. So, 
Maybe we can interview someone and let him talk about the the past Metro cars. The, I mean, the senior people, the older people here, because we uh, before we arrive at mm -hmm. the first station, we can have someone to talk about the uh, right. differences between the past and the current time. Yeah, let's try to find out. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I'll follow you. Hola. Buen día. ¿Me gustas de acá? Sí, somos no, de, de acá, no. ¿Ah? De la ciudad, no. Venimos de, ah. de otro lado. ¿Qué? Ah, quería saber que ustedes, ¿sabes que la, esta línea antes la usaste la tren an, anterior, de línea A? ¿O solamente este que está? Estación. No. En esta oportunidad usamos solamente este. Ah, solamente este. Esta sola. Ah, ¿y qué le parece es la este? Más, es la más vieja, antigua no. de Argentina. Ah, ok. Sí, es la más antigua y estamos, estamos paseando nosotros. Ah, okay. Salimos del paseo. Ah, ok. Nos vamos al centro ahora por eso. Claro. Pasear un poquito. Gracias. Estamos de vacaciones, sí. Gracias. De nada. Gracias. What, what did they say? No, they, uh, actually they're not from here. They're traveling. Oh, they're, they're travelers. Yeah, they're travelers. Mm -hmm. And they haven't experienced, uh, you know, the... How to say the Asians in the metros. Okay. But they feel this one is very good. Okay. Say so maybe it's a little difficult difficult to find someone because the the previous I metro. Here. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> As we were talking about before, this line is the most Asian line in Argentina and speak also. Louder. Yeah. And this line is uh, the most Asian metro lines in Argentina and also in South, uh, in the whole Latin America region. So the first metro cars have been starting service in the 1913, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. It's like more than 100 years ago. And this is the wooden carriages, you know, oh, the middle wood. And not, right now we are made of, uh, you know, carbon dioxide and aluminum. So it's very very Asian, you know, where you have a sense of history, but in the rise of confidence and security, it's a little bit out of date. And, you know, since it's, a, it's a been, re the, it's a retired, the whole uh, Asian flight has retired entirely after our train has come here. Yeah. It's been more than 10 years. So, and you know, this time we, Maybe it's a little bit hard to find someone who has experienced the difference, mm. but we well, were yes, trying. That's, that's yeah. a really long time ago, and uh, even the metro line here, they let the line A and the metro cars uh, are in position at least 10 years ago, so yeah. it's a bit different. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Yes, this is a weekend, so it's a bit difficult. So, uh, thank you for your suggestion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Down for this station? Lima, no, we no. go to uh, get down from Peru. Yes, uh, ah, there were right now we are here right and here. two more stations. Uh, okay. I think uh, in the opposite we have the we, we have seen the vendors. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well just uh, we passed the station um, several minutes ago. Lima. In name, so all the stations named after the location, right? Yeah, Lima is Lima the is capital city. city of uh, Peru, and Peru is the country's name, right? Uh, yeah. Plaza de Mayo is uh, the main square. Yeah. Yeah. Mayo, what, what is that? Mayo means May, uh, the name of the month, May, the fifth month of the, the year. Fifth month of the year. Yeah. The con what is this? Congreso is Congress. Congress. Yeah. So the Congress is located there? Yeah, it's a Congress. Okay. Yeah. And the Piedras? And piedras is like uh, stones. Stones. Yeah. Uh, why it is named after stone? Well, that's 
not catch me. <laughs> <laughs> For me, everything here is um, is new, mm -hmm. and uh, I have never experienced <laughs> this. So uh, please introduce more and let us see. Uh, now it's Pyrdas. Pyrdas, uh, yeah. Pyrdas is a stone city, stone station. Mm. Okay. And walking along. Walk mm -hmm. inside yeah. this vehicle. This is a gangway. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we'll pass all the way through here. And yeah, it yeah. looks uh, pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, we're right. almost there. there yeah, here. one more station. Uh, station. Well, in fact, uh, here this is a second stop. This mm -hmm. is the yeah, yeah. first one. Yeah. Of May. Uh, yes, May Square. Square May of May. Square of May. Yes. So the start. Yeah. So we call it like a zero kilometer. I had a a starting question. point. Um, underground of the Plaza de Mayo, there is a very huge space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. That's a pedal stage. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Uh, Mr. Yang, what is this the station? Because this is, looks really, really uh, has a long history. Yes, this is station is called Retiro in Spanish. Mm. It's the central train station of the city of Buenos Aires. Yeah, as you can see, it's very antique and historical. Indeed, it was built in 1915. 1915? Yeah, it's oh, almost no. more than 100 years. More than 100 years. It's firstly built by the British people. Mm. And in the, in the 100th anniversary of this train station, it has done a general refurbish. Mm. So you can see now it's quite a, a combination of a modern style and the antiquity and the historical, mm. historical feeling of the station. Yeah, so I can see there's so many shops here and mm -hmm. uh, the books, so souvenirs and the people yeah. um, here have a really, really, really colorful light and yes. they're playing the panels. Yeah, so, um, fine. so I'm just wondering what is the importance of this station and how the metro cars uh, produced by China played a role here? Yeah, actually, in fact, this uh, station have many lines you know, going, this is a zero kilometer of mining lines. Mm. Here we are at a line of Mitri, Mitri line. Uh, for this line, uh, CRC has provided more than 700 cars, we call it EMUs. More than 700 cars, cars in yeah, this line. In, only in this line. Yes. And it's starting with 2013, mm. it's more than 10 years. And now you can, we can see if we have cars parking here. Mm. We need to wait for a while for the trains to, to come. And then well, this is actually the station, this is actually the line we we see in films, which has a long history. Yes, it's uh, quite historical. That is actually the combination of the history, tradition, and also the modern facilities. Indeed. Mm. So what is the difference between the metro cars and used here with other places are there any differences yeah actually all the cars are specially designed and customized to attend you know the clim climatic, uh, climatic needs and also you know the technical required by the, the client you know so every every trains were made is like specialized for the customer here mm. yeah. okay so uh please uh, introduce more. We can follow you to one of the lines and uh, let's see what is going on there. Uh, of course. Mr. Yang, yes. I'm within here, of, yeah. I mean, the, the train is heading towards uh, what direction? This is uh, Line Mitri, and now we are at the first station, Retiro. The train is heading for uh, Tigri City, the uh, Tiger City. The Tiger City? Yeah, City of so Tiger. Why is it called a Tiger City? Uh, uh, is this continent there are tigers? No, I, I, yeah, actually that's called, it's called tiger, but there, there, apparently there's no tiger there, but 
Mm. Yeah, it's a, only the name is called Tiger. And now we are as a train. Okay. We're going on board. Going on board. Yeah. So uh, we'll find Miss Jose Luis. Ah, please. Good to see you. Hi, welcome to the CRC Sepan Train National Day. <laughs> Good to see you. I'm Jane Min from CDTN. Yeah. So I'll, I'll follow you. Yeah. Please. Okay. Please. And this is the first uh, logo. This is also the CSR. Logo of CSR. Yeah. Okay. Here. And that is a logo of this company. Where? Yeah, it's uh, because uh, the train was provided in 2013. 20. 2013. So. 2013. That's so a, that's 10 a years ago. Yeah, it's before the merge of CSR and CNR. Yes, yes. So you can see the. So uh, shall we uh, sit down? Take a seat. Yeah, yeah take a seat. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited because yep. uh, this Metrolon is really different from the ones in, 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 in Beijing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm expecting to see a, any differences between the, the Metro cars here with those running in China, for example, in Beijing. The difference between, yeah, it's all. The how do I say the manufacturer the same yeah. all from CRC right but as I mentioned before all the lines are specialized are customized for different regions mm. so it's like the different like climatic and technical requirements may be different yes right? and the interior design and the, the appearance some are chosen by the customer yeah. you can see the Argentina color here, right? Mm. The celeste, the light blue, and the white. Oh. You can see always here. <coughs> because I, I mean, the interior design mm -hmm. of this uh, major car is different from the one we just visited, being the Line A. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm impressed. Yeah, the Line A is a metro car. We call it a Type C metro car. And this is an electrical multiple unit. Okay. And this can travel a uh, longer distance. So, Mr. Yeah. Hobo, and can you say something in, in English or yeah. the local language we want to meet you? Because you've been working here for a long time and you've been friends to China. So, uh, perhaps we can we'll ask you something about you, your working experience or your, your ties with Chinese company. So, tell us. Okay. Okay, my name is, is in, English, in Chinese, my name is Halu. Uh, I've been working for Sofan for around nine years. I've been working with this project since the train was factoring in, in China, come here to Argentina and start operation. So this is a very special train, like my colleagues said before. We have in the front of the car, we have a, a special place so people can put a bicycle on there. That is something that is different from Beijing trains that you mentioned it before. Okay. Yeah. And in my experience, I, I, I'm, very, uh, I'm very happy to work with Chinese companies because uh, all our team is very dedicated and they are always working really hard to make this train to operate very safely. So it's something that we really, really, really want to give the our customer and the people here in Argentina. We wanted to get them a very important and good uh, quality train and quality service for them. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we are for the second stop on the Retiro. So uh, along this line to the Tiger City, yeah. um, what we can we see through this line? So for this line, we can see that we are here. Here is the Chinatown that it, it, it was built, it's a new station, it was built like three years ago. And also if we go over here, we can go to this place, it's called Olivos. There is where the president residence is over here. And if we go further forward to the last station, it's called Ti Tiger, that is Tiger. means Tiger. The means of this city comes from the an original, they thought they saw some tiger in the city, but it, it's original was the American Puma, mm. and they confused it with tiger. So that's, 
the city was called a tiger. <laughs> well, this is really interesting. And I see on this map, yeah. um, a lot of the UNESCO um, heritages um, are shown. So uh, this line connects all these places. Uh, can you show us some of the most interesting ones? Yeah, of course. Like uh, we can see, like we are over here, we have this place that is called a, a horse racing places. Here also we have some football clubs that we have the stadium from River Plate that is very famous. And we also have the many, many museums from an ex-president from us, it's called the Sarmiento President. And we also have many different places around here, like, like they are cultural places and also of course our religion because we are uh, here, we are uh, believe that we have our religion. We also have different places that are connecting to for this land. Mm -hmm. That's very well interesting. And now we're at the station of the Chinatown. Yeah. Um, so how the uh, the locals to, um, view the Chinese people's role here? Yeah, the Chinese people. This place was built in like fifty years ago, but the, the first person that came here was mostly a Taiwan person, but from from the uh, from the Iceland. But after on the eighties, most. Chinese people from Inderland, they came here. So people uh, start to understand more about Chinese culture, have more involved in Chinese technology to understand more about everything China can give to, uh, to other countries to export like uh, our trains. And they I feeling like they understand more about Chinese culture, about the technology China can give, and they feel really comfortable to, to stay alone with Chinese people, understand the culture. They are very more interesting right now in, uh, in Chinese culture than before. Well, you've been working here for many, many years uh, yeah. for the, uh, the company, for this yes. project, uh, yeah. I mean, the, this metro line. Yeah. Well, literally get on board the, this metro train to show us something more. And Mr. Yang also, I want to ask you something. It's about the, the this, this line. And later on, we get on board. What do you want to show us? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I, I, I just want to move it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Please. Yeah, the the line is a uh, is called the metro line, as we can, as Mr. Jose has introduced. It starts from Retiro and until the Tiger City, Tiger City. and the line is uh, uh, we have provided, like I mentioned before, 709, uh, we call EMUs for this line, has been in operation for more than 10 years. We believe we have contributed to the comfortness and security of the local passengers. So that's really one of the job we have been involved and we're we are very proud of it. Mm. Okay, and I think later on we can get on board of the train to to see you know, the interior of the train, and we maybe we can talk with the passengers yeah, to see to you know to know their feeling, their actual feeling about the product, our product. Mm. Okay. Uh, so what about this line? And any particular things? Anything special about this line? And any differences? from other lines, for example, line A and line M, line a, uh, M. This line actually is, you know, you know it's a different uh, uh, transporting system. The, the one we have seen in the morning, the line A is a metro system. It belongs to the Buenos Aires city. And this line, metro line is, uh, we call it intercity lines. It starts from the Buenos Aires city to other satellite cities in the Buenos Aires mm. province. So that's more about uh, moving people, like people uh, they are commuting mm. from the outside of the capital to walk to the capital and then in the afternoon they go back to their homes in the, s in the province of Buenos Aires. Mm. Okay. okay, thanks so much. And ladies and gentlemen, um, now we are <laughs> on the metro line from the Vitoro to the Tiger City. And this is a live, a live streaming and later on we'll get on board this um, metro car and get directly there. It took about the 40 minutes. Along this line there were a lot of the interesting places, historical sites and also UNESCO heritages. Uh, we could have the very special view and different store. And now the metro car is coming and we'll get inside this inside.
Uh, so what is this? Um, Chinese Argentinos? Yeah, could, you, could you explain? It's a, it's train is Argentino, it's an Argentinian train. It's a, it's a name of the operator. <coughs> Yes. What would you usually do? Um, would you usually uh, took the, uh, I mean, the metro line to other parts of the city uh, during the weekend? Yeah, actually, this line, as you can see from here, is uh, now we're in Nunes. Like, if you want to see a football match or the River Plate, you can get off. Uh, <laughs> you can get off here. Have you ever right? watched the, the yeah, games? Yeah, I there? watched the games. The River Plate is a very famous football club here in Argentina. If you want, like from this region above, like from this region above, it's about the Tiger. The Tiger, they have, they are very famous, like La Plata Delta. It's near the riverside, mm. and if you, if you want to, you know, uh, to get, you know, in a weekend, you want to, how to say, you want to take a, a, a boat tour, you can go to the Tiger City. And Tiger City also, they have a, a very big Chinatown there. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> okay. It's quite interesting. Uh, well, certainly the traveling here, uh, through the different lines, uh, mm -hmm. you guys show us very vivid um, views of the city, uh, especially the lines connecting people uh, mm -hmm. during the uh, different parts of the city. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. And so what's your feeling about the uh, new job here in the presence in this line? Actually, it's, uh, about this line, about the whole, you know, uh, like Argentina is a very important country for us, like as a Chinese company, we have provided like uh, various, various types of railway rolling stock here, like uh, basically some the, for the passenger transportation, others are for the cargo transportation, and for the passenger transportation, like the the train we're on board right now, you know, it's a really important for the daily commute, mm. for the daily commuters. Daily they take the train and they can, you know, save a lot of time. They can get off the traffic, mm. traffic jam, you know, mm. and it's a very, you can have a comfortable seat with the air conditioning, mm. with the illumination, and very spacious. So I, you know, as you can see, you can see from the local passengers here, you can see the, you know, appreciation, the satisfiedness. So for us, as a, as an employee of the company, we really feel proud of the, what are we doing here. Okay. Now we come from Buenos Aires to the Jujuy province in the most northwestern part of Argentina. And Johnny Minal is my friend working here. He's working for the railway line in Huhui province, whose name is Emilio. Emilio, good to see you here, and please talk to us about the project here. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, the project here is a 42 kilometers line from Volcan to Tilcara. It's the first step is gonna be a touristic train in joining the, every local town to, to make an integration between them. And the train from CRRC, which is a very important train for us mm. an important train for the world actually because it's uh, the first one with batteries mm. impulsed by batteries lithium batteries, lithium batteries and that lithium is produced here in Jujuy in the mine in Jujuy oh really yeah I swear I swear you go to China they made the batteries and they come back <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and the thing here is uh, we are really excited with this project because uh, we are really close to to recover a train that was taken for us mm. 30 years ago, mm. so it's really important for us. Okay, so I, I heard a lot of the interesting things about Fuhui. Mm -hmm. well, well, we uh, visited the, uh, the government's palace um, in the city. Um, we, we know that this is the origin of the flag of the civil liberty. Yeah, so yes. a lot of the interesting things along this corridor. From the beginning to the end, 42 lo uh, kilometer long railway line. Mm -hmm. So once the real line is completed. Uh, what would it bring to the local people and the tourists from all over the world? Yeah, ma okay, ma mainly it's going to bring for the local people uh, 
more trees that are gonna spin, spin and know the place, know the culture, know the how they live here. But mainly, the thing here is that we are making a train, a train line in a UNESCO uh, historical heritage, like Quebrada de Maguaca. Is. It's really important that it's, there are mm, around like a million and a half tourists per year that comes here and the train is gonna join every town inside the, the Quebrada. Yes, I, I, I the, just did on a ride here, you told me that you were going to bring me to the very first station on this line and you were going to take me to the very beautiful place, one of the tourist attractions uh, that is about the colorful rocks and soil. Exactly. Here we have some minerals on, on the whole area that makes every rock red, the soil becomes orange. You have a, a mountain with 14 colors, 14 different tones of red. It's really amazing. It gets to Mawaka. We are in reaching Tilcara with this line, but the next stage goes to Mawaka mm -hmm. and it's going to join them. So how many, how many uh, trains would be uh, transported from China to this place? And At the very first, here? yeah, this one is Tumbaja. We are in Tumbaja, it's the second station of the line. And actually, we're just, we just bought two trains, but we are gonna buy at least five more because when this is just the first step of the whole project. Mm. We are just in the beginning. We have to make this train works that we hope that we have working on at the end of this year. Mm. And we have to keep going. We have to keep going to Bolivia. This line takes us to Bolivia. Yes. And to the other line, uh, to the other side on the line, it goes to Buenos Aires, joining Jujuy, uh, Volcan, which is the first station that we have been, and uh, the same line to Buenos Aires. Well, this place is uh, very close to other countries, so, so this is a transportation hub among countries. Exactly, it's a, it's a, log a logical, logical note that if you go this way, as I told you, you go to Bolivia, but on the left side we have Chile, just a, a 250 kilometers away. Hey, can you show us? Yeah, of course. So uh, behind these mountains, you have the Andes. The and Andes. Yeah, the Andes. And next to the Andes on the other side is Chile. So from that side is Chile and from the back there is Bolivia. This is uh, the province it has, it's in the top of Argentina, in the very north of five part. And it's very important for commercial. That's why that we are making this line at the beginning for passengers, but the, our main goal is to recover the loads. Yes, I'm, I'm just wondering uh, the, the, what kind of the trains is they are. Um, only for passengers at the or beginning. Or also for freight? For? For freight. Ah, okay. The at, at the beginning, it's just for passenger because the line is not connected neither to Bolivia or Argentina. It's just in the middle of two lines that were closed 30 years ago. But at the end of this project, the, the main goal is to, cut, to, to get back the, the firms. Okay, so uh, please uh, show us around this place and uh, later on you will take us to the, uh, the, the start station but about this place. It... This place, here we have bathrooms. It's uh, everything under construction. We have the bathroom here. This is a really small station. This is a new station that every uh, empty spot is full of glasses so you can see the, every landscape around. And next to, the, next to that, the yellow building it's a, the old station, that building may have around like 80 years, something like this. Oh. It's really old here because this line was really important. This line actually was the, the beginning of every town, mm. actually, yes. um, because um, many of these towns were born because the train. The these, uh, these hard rocks is, uh, <laughs> are from, the, from, the from our mountains, yes. yeah, from all, of, all, all around here. Mm. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about to see all of these and the people that were working here. Uh -huh. And they're also expecting the outcome of Yeah, the because of the, the, the workers we have here are local people. This is uh, one of our objects because uh, it's a, a way to improve the, their life in here. And for example, the, the, this station was like, I don't know. So this is an old station. Yeah, it's an old station. Yeah, so it will be we, we can come over if you want. A, a quick watch. Of course, it's under construction now. It's the same side of the building. 
This is called Tumbaya. Uh. But now the construction and stuff is inside here, but it used to be like old furniture from mm. that, that age. Okay. So uh, not only the old sti uh, the railway station would be renovated, but uh, the new one would be completed here. Yes, so, uh, but <laughs> probably it's going to get to a touristic spot, like a touristic office. So when the tourist comes here, goes to the office, and they tell where they can go. For example, they have a beautiful cemetery on the top of the mountain. It, it's, it's because they said that uh, you get closer to God. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I couldn't help that, but I'm just asking you to take me to the very first station on this line. There must be really, really magnificent because okay. you told me that station is named after volcano. Exactly, yeah. yes. Cool. Yeah, Can yeah. Let's go there. Okay, let's go. So, I mean, this is the uh, center of the station, right? Yes, this is the first station of our touristic project. Mm. It begins here and goes to the Gigara. This is the main station, and next to, uh, next to this is the old station. The main importance of this station is that we have the workshop here, the maintenance workshop where the trains from CRRC are going to sleep mm. and be maintained. There, we have a bar and the bathrooms here, mm. and this station is the biggest on the whole track mm. and from here goes to the Ligara. So I know, I know that old one and in the future what kind of role it will take in this station? In, it's not in the future, just now it's going to be a museum from the old parts of the of the railway mm. and this is going to become the main station. So in the past what kind, what kind of the, uh, the, 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 the trains running on this line and it, what kind of, can you describe it? Yeah. So what, and, and the current time, what's the difference? Actually, the, the difference is now it's not working, to be honest. Uh, for 30 years, it hasn't been working. Now, th that station, this line joins Argentina with Bolivia mm. in the whole way. It, it, it begins here and finishes in La Quiaca, mm. around 250 kilometers away from here. Mm. And we, have, we had actually 30 years ago um, uh, passengers mm. and loads trains here mm. and, and goes the whole flow from Argentina to Bolivia and Peru. So we can go outside and let you show us around. Of course, let's yes, go. Watch. <laughs> Thank you. you. Well, this is a really beautiful sunshine. Yeah, actually, uh, this, the, the sun is always shining here, but you can feel the cold in the wind. Okay. So this is a bar? Yeah, this, this is a bar. It has a kitchen at the back. And the, the idea is to the touristic people comes and can enjoy like the local food from the local people, actually, because every station is aimed to the local people. Those local people. Always. Always our first goal is to make the, the local people. You can see at the back there, we have many shops. Mm. Shops where the, the, the local people can sell their regional stuff and regional food as well. Okay. Uh, another question is, is uh, how fast is the train? How ready? fast? Actually, it's pretty fast, but the rails make us put a, a limit speed at uh, 60 kilometers per hour. But uh, our idea is to go slower because it's a touristic train. Mm -hmm. So it's full of glass as CRC has designed to, to see all the landscape around. So uh, in general, this will serve as the traffic need of local people as, as well as the, the tourists. Exactly. We have like uh, a part inside the train for local people and for uh, urban mobility from town to town. Okay. But the main objective is to be a touristic train from Argentina or foreign people mm. to go around our Quebrada. This area, this region, is called Quebrada de Humahuaca, mm. and it's a, it's a human heritage from UNESCO. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. So that's the station's name. This is the first station to the, to the Quebrada de Humahuaca. This so is the name, volcano. Vulcan. Means volcano. Meaning? Volcano. Volcano. Actually, you can see the volcano. No, you cannot see. It's behind this, this mountain. Behind it's back this there. mountain, there's a yes. volcano. So that's the it's reason lit. why the station is in the exactly. mouth of the volcano. Yeah. It's meaning... Volcano. Okay. 
Well, that is a, and, uh, and those are the shops. Yeah, the shops. The shops. Yeah. Okay. So general speaking, uh, this place is going to be a very interesting place. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and oh, at the same time, this is the start of the railway station. So, will it will it to connect to the capital city of Buenos Aires? Uh, it's our it's a project that we are developing because the the slope from here to Jujuy it's really complicated it's really high we we've been together working with TRC the developing a kind of train that can go with loads from Jujuy to here mm. and regarding the slope of course okay. but uh, this is the first stage of the progress of the project and we are uh, now beginning from the airport to Jujuy and then to here to join this this Quebrada de Humahuaca to Buenos Aires okay that's pretty can we go outside to yeah we can and as you can see the station remains closed because we have to to make the, the first kick and we are waiting for the train to it okay now we are at one section of the construction site at Huhi railway line and uh, we're still talking about this place do you see something about the difficulty of constructing this railway line because I see uh, the geographic condition here is not that as we'd expect so there might be a lot of difficulties and the workers there um, they're working uh, under such conditions so tell us something about the construction the construction site here and actually the hole around the line was pretty difficult because um, the, the train here was closed this line was closed like 30 years ago hmm. as I already told you so the thing here is that was not the street, that was the original line. And when this closed, people start using a street and, and we had to adapt the whole line here in a narrow space because uh, we have to interact with the people here, with the local and, and commercials. Mm. And, every, and every, for example, there, you can see a plantation of roses and other stuff. And all of them they have is their source of income so we have to adapt the line in every part of the of the whole line to to fit inside this narrow space mm. and we have to move so much soil to put on level and so the train can go well because the slope was a difficult stuff here as well okay so we can walk through to work there's workers in the house they are doing Yes. Uh, uh, so how many, how many, how many, how many days or how many months have you been spending time here on this construction site? Yeah, actually, we are now reaching the 85 percent of the line, and here we are really close to finish on the other side. We are getting to Tilcara. We are really close. Um, mainly here, mainly here was uh, the most Im most important place that we, we were we have many many problems because the people who was living there so um, as you can see the guys can can manage almost everything they they were really hard and they go really fast uh -huh. actually uh, we are really surprised how fast they they build the line ¿Qué tal? Sí, mi es Emiliano. Eh, mira, queríamos que nos cuentes un poco sobre cómo el proceso de la línea Y, y qué expectativas tienen ustedes para futuros como, como ciudadano acá de La Quebrada? Bueno, el avance en cuanto a la obra de la vida yo creo que está en 80%, ¿sí? Hay una cuestión que hay que resolver, el tema político, más que uh -huh. nada, una que no tiene nada que ver con, con la empresa, sino que con el gobierno, sí, el tema sí. de, de desarrollo del lugar, del sector, nada más. Y después, la expectativa, yo creo que el proyecto este se llegaría a cumplir el 100, digamos. Claro. Ya, lo que es la primera etapa de Volcán, Volcán y, y Tilcara, yo creo que ya estamos ahí. Estamos ahí, sí. sí muy cerca, a la vuelta de sí, la sí, esquina. Sí, sí. Sí. Y este tren turístico tiene que ir a Tumahuaca. Eh, es lo que fuese lo ideal, ¿viste? como sí, es el patrimonio sí. cultural de la humanidad, así que se vendría bien para la, para la zona, para la gente, la región, para que muestre sus productos, que, claro. que tanto no se conoce, digamos, ¿no? la cultura, los productos artesanales Totalmente. de la región, ¿no? Sí, sí, más, algo integrativo claro. dentro, dentro de la Sí, quebrada. algo integrativo. Sí. Son las futuras etapas igualmente. Eh, o Dios quiera, digamos. Sí, sí, lo va a hacer. Vamos, <risa> vamos a trabajar por ello. Sí, Así sí, que bueno, Fidel, muchas gracias. De nada.
um, so, okay, I, I translate now. Okay. Um, he said that he works here and he's really excited because the line is about to finish. Mm. He's rounding the 80, 85 percent, as I told you. And he's from here. He's from Omawaka. He works here, and he said that to Tilcara we are really close and we are um, really excited to to complete this. But we need to keep going to 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 Mawaka because it's really important for the region because it's a cultural heritage from UNESCO to to integrate the whole the whole places every place in in La Quebrada de Mawaka mm -hmm. and he he's really excited about that because people from all over the world is going to be running on the train on this line and knowing about our culture okay so that's uh, not feel also excited, but uh, uh, there could be many more things for us to explore. Uh, during this time, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the uh, the Chinese railway. Um, the uh, will be transported here, the new energy railway. So what is the features about that? Um, I mean, do, do all these staff here know about the the cars, the trains? Uh, have, could you answer, ask them what they're feeling about that? Okay. Um, te pregunta cuáles son tus sentimientos en cuanto al tren que viene. O sea, al tren que va a girar acá, como, como bien sabemos, es un tren a batería, es un tren puramente limpio, es eléctrico. Y nada, ¿cuáles son sus expectativas? ¿Que no lo conocen? ¿Qué esperan? Eh, la verdad es una expectativa enorme para nosotros, que como nuevas generaciones que somos, o sea, no, no tuvimos la oportunidad de conocer el, el histórico tren que, que, que recorría de acá de Buenos Aires a Potosí, ¿no? Claro. Eh, no, no pudimos conocerlo y bueno, esta es una gran expectativa para nosotros, ¿sí? una alternativa más de transporte, así que bienvenida bien, bien sea. Digamos. Claro, claro, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. um, he said that the expectations are really huge because uh, like we are new generations here and when the trains close here, uh, we lost it, we haven't seen it. We haven't taken any train here, so the expectation, the expectation now is really important because like everything that can make us another way to mobility, to get to different places, and mainly this kind of train that is an electrical and battery train that is unique in the world actually, and mainly this is it's going to be the only train that works on this height, on this altitude. This is uh, here we are around two, 2400 meters above the sea level. So it's really high for a train, and this is going to be a, an impressive uh, invention for actually for human beings. Okay, thank you so much for this, and uh, thank you for telling us and sharing all these interesting parts of this railway lines project. Thank you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, came to that comes to the conclusion of our live, live streaming. And me and my friend would stop here to say hello to everyone in the world. Uh, by the end of the year, once the railway line is completed, once the uh, the train is running on this line, please walk in here uh, to travel around and let me, my friend, to say something to end this live streaming. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you to show our project, to show our province, these places, and we wait everyone in the world to, to run this train, to know the places and our culture. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, watching our special program of the railway project in Jujuy, in most northwestern part of Argentina. So before uh, we stop here, so to follow the video cameraman to look around this place and see the beautiful scenery. that we find in the sediment to the DNA we find in the pendant mm. and that allows us to make some comparisons that are really crucial.